All right, where's Cynthia? Hey, Steve. <laughs> um, my fiance, and we're newly engaged as well. Um, I'm trying to get him to give up his other woman. We, um. <laughs> his other woman is his motorcycle. <laughs> oh, because okay. <laughs> I was finna say. <laughs> This, 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 ain't, this ain't finna go good this week. Yeah. His screensaver on his phone is his motorcycle. My screensaver is me and him. <laughs> so I'd like for him to give it up. I need help with that. Obviously, he's been riding motorcycles for a while. Yes. Did he have the motorcycle before you met him? Yes, he did. He just had the motorcycle before he asked you to marry him? Yes, he did. <laughs> See, him and that motorcycle then took him through some things. Yes. It then drove him off from several bad relationships. <laughs> he... On that motorcycle, let me tell you why he loved that motorcycle. <laughs> On that motorcycle, he rode out of hell into happiness with you. <laughs> now, let me help you out. Watch this. On that, would you stand up for me, sir? Let me ask you a question, sir. Do you love that woman more than you love life itself? Yes, sir. Would you die for her? Yes, sir. Is she the best thing ever happened best to you? Best thing ever happened to me. <laughs> best thing. Let the man keep the motorcycle. <laughs> so let me tell you something. On national TV, he said he loved you more than he loved life itself. Yeah. That he would die for you. <laughs> That he can't see himself living without you. Ah. You ought to just get on the back of that motorcycle and y'all ride on out of here. <laughs> Thank y'all. <laughs> hey, now, folks, uh, yesterday I met uh, Edie and Sonia, uh, who asked me a question in the Hey Steve. And uh, Edie asked me uh, what she should do about going to her daughter's house for the holidays since it's always a dirty mess. She didn't, she didn't want to go over her daughter's house for the holidays because it's always messy and everybody going over there and it turns out that her, she has a baby and she don't have a lot of time to clean up. So I sent uh, my man Kevin Grace over to uh, her daughter's house to, to help out. This is the guy that does all the set design here on the show. So take a look. Hey, Kevin! It's so nice to see you. How are you doing, Miss Thank Edie? you for coming. Of course, of Grace. course, of course. What are we doing? My daughter here, she wants to have the holidays here at the house. No way. She has the dog, hairs everywhere. She works all day. She has two kids, my grandbabies. Okay, well, listen, this is why Steve sent me here. I've got the shark eye on robot. Oh, We're gonna let this loose and let it clean up all over the place. It's gonna make our lives so much easier. You need to go to work, Miss Edie. So you yes. go ahead and go to work, and while this is doing its job, we're gonna decorate a little bit. The house will be ready for holiday by the time you come back from work. Thank you. All right, you, let's man. do it. Now, when this dries, it's gonna look like crystals. Hey, look. Great thing about this sharp ion robot is that it'll do the floor and then come right up onto the carpet and bounce right off of all the different furniture because it's got these great sensors inside of it. All right, the last piece of the puzzle. What do you think? Done. It is fabulous. My mom is gonna freak out when she sees it. She's gonna love it. All right, I'm bringing my mom in. All right, yes. are you ready to see this? Wow! Oh, it looks beautiful. We have a few things going on here. So, of course, you know, our main focus was really oh. this fireplace. And we wanted it to be fun for the kids. So we also added this cardboard crazy moose and then what we've done with the Christmas tree here. I love it, everything is so festive. While we were doing all this, 
the shark we eye can robot have a party, was right? cleaning to get ready for the party. Yes. So that's the beauty of the shark eye on robot. You just put it on and let it do its thing while you're doing your thing. And that allowed us to get this whole place jazzed up and ready for the holidays while it was being cleaned. Thanks, Thanks Steve. Steve. <laughs>20 pictures up on the board. All right, now, you have 60 seconds to match those pictures. You match as many as you can. Every time you match a pair, I'm gonna give you 100 bucks. If you match all 10 in 60 seconds, you're gonna win yourself $1,000. Yeah. How that sound? That was amazing. Okay, good. Now, remember those pictures, right? Okay, now, flip them over, scramble them up. Okay. All right, so time will start after your first two numbers begin. One and seven. One, seven. Okay, three and four. Three, four. Thirteen and eleven. Three, eleven. Ten and five. Ten and two. Ten and two. Ten three and, and ten. Three and ten. Oh. Come on. Twenty and six. Twenty and five. Twenty-four. Three. Twenty-three. 23. Three. All right, 13 and 17. 13 and 17. Oh, 5 and 13. 5 and 13. Come on. Okay, 11 and 17. 11 and 17. 11 and 6. 11 and 6. Come on. Okay, 1 and 18. 1 and 18. Come on. 2 and 19. 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 2 Oh, it's 2 and 15. No, she said, she said 2 and 15. <laughs> okay, now, turn around. I'm going to give you one free one. You can get some help from the order. Okay, I'm going to go with 12 and 19. 12 and 19. Boom. <laughs> well, you just won yourself $700. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. There you go. Thank you. Thanks for playing, Natasha. We got a great show for you today. A special celebrity dating pool and the cast of Sight, the movie. They're here. We'll be back, everybody. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.